Blowing across Nigeria is the wind of hope as Africa's young entrepreneurs with the same dream take a break from their everyday lives and embark on a journey across the nation with their ideas, innovations, and inventions from the east, west, north, and south of Nigeria. We will witness as they make their way through the screening and auditioning to meet and convince the AYE judges why they should be among the chosen beneficiaries. You can't come and speak to a panel of investors and say there's a whole lot of choices. You need to be as strong as you are technically with what you want. No, 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 I'm coming. This is new idea and new business. But it, you don't really have a very strong structure of how you see your vision practically moving forward. You know, you know it feels very loose to me. I think you should have sat with them before you come here. If you invest in that business today, you're not coming into to make mistakes. We will experience their passion. So I want to feed African as a nation. Their pain. Get out of here. And their gain. Hey, why you give you a lot of customers. You cater for them, I will give you money up front. You'll be able to buy all your equipment. This door opens to many opportunities. Many entrepreneurs will walk in and many will walk out. Let's see who walks in and who walks out. Welcome to another episode of Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Reality TV Show, AYE. My name is Joy Michael. So when they called me, I was so happy because I, I, I believe God that with them, I can make this thing to go everywhere in Nigeria. I definitely am believing God that it's, it's going to go well, it's going to come out well. First today is Mr. Chinedu, a farmer from the eastern part of Nigeria. He is here with his son to pitch his idea on the processing and packaging of local food products. My name is Chinedu Nachi. Poultry farming is uh, the most commercialized in agriculture sector in Nigeria. Due to the high demand of it, I use the chaff I got from those products I produce to make this feed. And the best grows within six weeks to maturity. I'll come over for the feed. Let me first go on this. This thing is upper. It's, it's highly nutritious. It's just that people in this country, a lot of them don't know how to get it. This thing has the, 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 the nutritious value, the carbohydrates content, it, it contains 43 to 75 percent, proteinous content 15 to 25 percent, 4.5 to 7.5 percent of fiber, 4.6 to 6.5 percent of fat, and this thing contains vitamins. And the mineral contents are, it contains phosphorus, manganese, magnesium, copper, zinc. And not only that, it contains sodium too. This thing has four benefits for human body. One, it helps to cure arthritis. If you are eating this thing, due to the high mineral value in it, you can never suffer arthritis. Secondly, it helps to control anemia. Due to the high contents of iron in this thing, it helps to boost the blood. Thirdly, it helps to control malnutrition. Due to the high contents of carbohydrates, proteins in it, and the calories plus the minerals, when you are eating this thing, you will not be malnutrited. This thing helps to cure insomnia. People that find it difficult to sleep. This thing, the amino acid in this, helps the brain to stimulate serotonin, which helps in the calmness of the brain by that time making the person to fall asleep. And when you wake up in the morning, you'll be very, very healthy. Bambara granules is a grain legume grown mainly by substance farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. They are referred to by several names like Gorgia in Hausa, Okpa in Ibo, Ekparoro in Yoruba, and several other names across Africa. It has been termed by researchers as a complete food as it composes of carbohydrates, 
protein and sufficient amount of fat. The seeds are consumed as a snack, converted to flour or as an ingredient in cooking. They have also been used for medicinal purposes and as feed for chicks and fish. The last time I came here, when I was going in the bus, I wanted to bring out uh, something in my, in my bag. A woman that was also traveling back saw this thing and uh, told me if I'm selling it. She was going to have the estate. I, I told her this is just a sample. She collected it. In the night that same day, she called me that can I make a supply of this thing for her? 2,000 pieces of 1 kg of this and 1,000 pieces of 2 kg of this. Now, I have gone for the market visibility studies of this. Only Enugu alone, 42 to 46 trailers enters Enugu every week. Only Enugu on this. Now, this product, the price, if you, if you check the price value in the market, like this one kg, it's supposed to be 600 naira. But I have made my own to be 400 naira. You don't have option, you must buy it. Because I'm going direct, <clears throat> I'm going direct to the farm. Because it's a leguminous uh, crop. And the, the botanical name is Bigna Subterranean. It it's, it's very, very wonderful. Uh, come in terms of the feed, these are the... Can you tell me, is it a grain or a, a seed or a... It's, a, it's a seed, bambara nut. See it here. Bring it closer. Can okay. we see the stuff? Can we... Yes, let me see it. That's the bambara nut. Open it. Open it. So they, they, they can't eat it raw, like this? No, no, they can't eat it raw, like this. No, no, they, you can't eat it raw. It's grinded, I have the... So is it like granite or beans? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hear about... Yes, this is interesting. Opa. Is it a yeah. shell, kind of? Yes, yes, so my the shell, kind of, it, it is. Then when we are processing it, we'll, where is the chaff? This is when it's being grinded. For consumption. Uh, uh, after sieving, yes, this for consumption. How do you uh, eat it? Yeah. You see? How, how is it eaten? It's being prepared. I With will... like a porridge? Yes, you prepare you prepare like a porridge, like a semovita. Moi moi. Then also you can prepare like semovita. Then you use it to eat whether soup. Like when you people people that have difficult to sleep, when people that think too much. When you eat this thing, you have no, a very we're, nice. We're coming to that. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're coming to those. Please. Okay, so okay, sir. Eat, okay, you eat it like to... beans or like like go back to the yam. No, you eat. You can eat it like padded yam. Uh huh. Then you can also eat it like mm -hmm. moi moi. Okay. In a solid form. Yes, in a solid form. Well, Chinedu has definitely done his homework, and he sees a huge market for his products. But with edibles come medicals. What facts back up his medicinal claims? And this is the chaff. I suppose this thing, they throw it away. But uh, I use this chaff to produce this feed with it's all these components it's here. This blood meal, maize, mm. bone meal, PKC, this palm kernel, then uh, more vitamin and fish meal, salt and uh, KBC concentrate. I join these things together to get this thing produced. This okay. feed you see here, I am speaking. Um, I want to take you up on the claims you've made. Okay, sir. Because you've kind of made about five claims that are medical claims. Okay, yeah. Have you, how do you come about those claims? Has there been any qualitative or quantitative research, research that backs up the fact that yes. you know, it cures insomnia? Yes, yes. It's, it's amazing yes. to see one single seed cure five different. I, yes, uh, there have been a lot Elements. of, uh, uh, I have gone through a lot of researches and found out about that. And honestly... Can you cite, you must cite, you must cite authorities. Yes. Cite house at least. You, were, you just, you did the research. You yes, did the I research did on your own. Yes, I did the research. Okay. Upon what credential? What's your, what's your credential? Are you uh, a microbiologist? Are you... Okay. Uh, 
Sorry, sir. I, because when you talk about insomnia and the rest, these are things that have been researched over time. I, I did. I, 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 yes, I did. Yeah, the, I did the research. I am not a microbiologist. I. I How come, many like um, have you got a breakdown of the content, the mineral breakdown, the yes, I went, the nutritional I, I, breakdown? I, I I went for the research. Honestly, I I I, I read. But, but have you got it? And, and the, I, I also tried it on people. Yeah, I, I get that, people. but he's asking about the technicality of it. So I, I fully believe that it's entirely possible that that has that content. I know there's an, a lot of incredible seeds and nuts that are unique to Nigeria that have incredible nutritional value. So, it, But you need to have it somehow recorded. Amino acids, in fact, do help with sleep. I do know that. Mm. They, they do. They, they will your, help you sleep and they will the problem, help with right? arthritis. Your, your like, time is, you know... What do you, does your business need? You say that, please. The time what? is up, far gone, and you have not told us. No, what do you need? What do you need for this okay. business? I need, I need, I need fund. I need, I need, I need capital to, to make this thing to spread to the market. People need this thing. People need it. Have you done a market survey? I have done the market survey. Even that time I came here the last time as I was going, a, a woman demanded yeah, for you it. Sent, you sent that there. That's a woman, an AYE member, another AYE no, member. a or... woman I met at the bus. I'm even the with bus. that number. She's been calling me. Okay, wait. Now, how much fund? You're I'm trying to help you out here. 10 million naira. 10 million. What type of fund is this? What, is it a, an investor, a partner, a loan? What? What are you? What are you? Loan. You're looking for a 10 million naira loan? Loan. You know, just give us um, 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 one minute. Uh, just wait for us to call you back. Is that your son? Yes, yes. What's your name? Nachi Fortune. Fortune. Just wait for us. Wait. It's like the cassava story. Nachi, please. Yeah. We just need to know how did you know the nutritional content of That's this it. thing, who did the study to know that is how many percent protein, how many percent this one. So based off that, that's why he's telling you that you can cure insomnia, I can... I'm just going to try one bag, and I'm just going to try it, I'm, I just must eat it tonight because I have insomnia. And if I sleep, <laughs> and it works, guys... I want to try some. I want to try, try some. You want to? Yeah. Because... But you should tell us. You need to buy it from. I can't remember anything about top five. But people used to buy it. I know my mom used to. I will ask my. I will have to ask my mom. So you can help us do more research. Yes, I can. I can. Because yeah. No, yeah, but I won't have any like I don't have any microbiologist in my family to tell you. We don't need. Sometimes we need a traditional person. Somebody. My mom will tell you that is. Because you know, even now you could take a sample. You get someone. You could take a sample into the lab and the zinc part. You could easily break it down. I so think it's highly in, in likely that you can break right. it down and yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. These things have the, the sad part for me, and such a good learning for all the other entrepreneurs, is yeah. if he had some scientific yeah, proof with him. If it. you smell this, you can smell the metals. You can it's, smell it's the like content. Smelling it's smelling a rusted piece of steel. You can smell the iron. Yeah. You yeah. can actually smell it. Wow. So it's in there. Wow. But I can't say. It's in there. Means okay, okay, but it's another thing again is that another thing again is that traditionally. Those guys don't know about these mineral things and that, but okma works for them as Africans. Right. They don't know. They don't know they don't the zinc. Know. They don't know this, but they know that it's okma in right. their own local language. They, there's demand for that. Right. If we leave all these scientific names yeah. and look at just the demand, yeah. Because I remember there were I think it was three years ago somebody else pitched this kind of a product, and I remember a lot of people said they don't see it in the city. Yeah. So that's what I thought. Have you ever seen it? Okay. Yeah. 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 So, where you're from. so from so it being just a product, I think. So I think let's let's bring him out. I agree with what you have said that we can. Some of the judges are still not entirely sure of the nutritional value of his product, but Tia and Steven seem convinced. What does this mean for Chinedu? They said all the judges said you have to get this tested. They are so interested in the in the chemical and the nutritional, nutritional value. value. You know, I'm very interested in the demand because you know there's so much passion when you talk about it. And some are, I think I've heard about the demand in the city. Not, am I right? In the city area. You're everywhere. People need okay, it. You know, eh? People need it. No time know. again for okay, you. Sorry. You don't want us to stand up. <laughs> now, I want to donate myself to you as a specimen. You have insomnia. I have insomnia. And I'm, I'm seeing it live on TV. I have insomnia too. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do too. It's the best as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> how many samples do you have? Do you want to come, back, come as a sample? I want the well? sample, yeah. Yeah. So, we have, you have two specimens. Do you want to join as a specimen? Yeah. Three specimens. If we sleep well, then we can start talking. Do you agree? No problem. If we don't sleep, you will. Don't go to make to do another thing for us to sleep. Let's no, no. sleep it down. Let's <laughs> no, take sample. This sample you have. When you prepare it, okay. Just drop, bring a bag, and uh, bring one. The okay. one that we are going to. Yeah, and test while you're bringing one. it, tell us how to prepare it. I read that I swallow. Yeah. So not like normal, like pando yam like this. No. Is it like salmon vita, warm water? Uh, you prepare it uh, like salmon vita. Yeah, like, like salmon vita. Uh, you, you must say we didn't prepare it well. Though. We prepare like salmon vita. Okay. Go back. Uh, to how you. much is this one? Is this one kg? This one kg is five hundred. I but I brought the price down to, to four hundred. Yeah, yeah. So that everybody you must the person must buy it. Okay. So thank you so much. Um, by tomorrow, you said, but we we'll wake up tomorrow, have you? Look, we will sleep for three days. <laughs> Why not? It's uh, it, hi. It's good. It's good. Wait <laughs> now. Talk now. We have... When you wake up, you even be healthy like a new. It's very like a nugu. It's a nugu. <laughs> when we wake up, you hear the feedback on all the three. Uh, My body guard will like this a lot. It's it's from See, the east. And, even and I, I know, it. I know it, it helps. It helps. Let's self. try one. It's so many affairs. You want to put yourself in wala? No, no problem. So no. Thank no. you so much for coming. No, I have a yeah, Have okay. a nice day. The judge's verdict comes with a unique condition. If his claims turn out to be false, he will not get any form of business support. That being said, good luck to Mr. Chinidu. I believe God that definitely they, are, uh, they, will, they will respond to my request uh, uh, urgently because the demand of the product is so high so that I can meet up with the demands. It's that time of year where thousands of entrepreneurs gather for one single convention. Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Empowerment Nigeria Iron Annual Convention is here again. Keynote speakers include Patrick Malumba of Kenya, Billy Silakani of South Africa, and of course, Volung Shaw Alakija of Nigeria. To register, visit www.iron.ng. Iron 2018 Convention, Entrepreneurial Influence in Economic Development. Starting and running a business can be quite hectic, especially when it comes to business registrations, business plans, brand activations, market research, filling annual reports, marketing and advertising. Why don't you let us help you with all the above services and many more at Business Takeoff Services. We have everything your business needs. I'm Oshin Pauline Ushinedu, an engineer I am trying to set up a microsystem laboratory that will deal with forensic investigation, mobile digital forensic investigation at Abuja. It's going to be successful. I came loaded and I have services to offer. And I believe if things goes the right way, everything being all right, I should have my proposal approved. Here comes another Chinedu. This Chinedu is a forensic investigator who plans to launch a mobile digital forensic investigation hub in the country's capital. I'm Oshim Paulinus Chinedu. Paulinus? Chinedu. Oshim? An engineer by profession. I wrote a proposal to set up an MSAB lab for forensic investigation, mobile digital forensic investigation. At Abuja. MSAB is a software, a Sweden software that acts next to oxygen. Oxygen was the last one that they brought into the country, but, and that is the one um, police and DSSS they are using for their investigations. So the difference between MSAB, MSAB tools, and oxygen is that oxygen is not as fast as the MSAP tools. And then, oxygen cannot go to the cloud to get evidence from social medias, 
if the tools that they have the same or the chips embedded in is not handy. But with MSAB, once you have a number or the chipset embedded in the device, the loca just the geolocation alone, that's all you need and you can track whatever. So in this our society, crimes happen every day. And one of the most simple devices that people carry around are mobile devices. This mobile phone, we carry it around every day. And there is no way a crime can be planned without the use of a mobile phone. With the continued growth and dependence on smartphones, the probability of their use in criminal activities continue to increase. This has led to the need for mobile phone forensic analysis. Mobile forensic analysis is a part of digital forensic analysis that extracts valid and critical evidence to help the justice system solve crimes, investigate deaths, and protect the public. The industry is still in its early years and digital forensic investigators are required to be registered and follow an approved standardized and formalized method. And if a crime happens here, if a report gets to us, just this happened at this vicinity just right now, I can with MSAP tool go to that vicinity, check the collection of chips or SIM cards around that vicinity within that period. And then with that, I can clone their SIMs and start digging into their mobile devices one after the other till I get the particular SIM that has a discussion or something they're about connecting to the, crime. to the crime and from there i'll take uh, it off. after they go after they've gone yes. from the premises how yes. long after they've gone can you do that if it is me? if it is above 10 minutes they must have gone off the radar oh okay and you can yeah, but the person has left uh, you can't get there in 10 minutes so. huh? you can't get to that place not so. getting there just report to my lab and tell me the I'll geology tell you the location oh, of okay. where you from are. where you're standing doing the report uh, you be born no? From where you're standing, <laughs> reporting. <laughs> Just call me, put up a report to the lab, and I'll put you on. From there, I can trace the sims that we are in that surrounding in the last, in the past 10 minutes. I'm sure Mr. Darius so, got lots beyond of questions. Beyond 10 minutes. Beyond, beyond 10 minutes, the person must have. I'm not saying, it depends on the speed of the people that committed the crime. Because if so they you can't are... Trace, you can't trace that beyond 10 minutes. Beyond 10 minutes, I can't, unless I have any device that dropped down while they were doing it. Well, you know, that's also problematic. Very. That's because problematic. most crimes are not also detected until, sometimes until several hours after. Uh, but you also talked about the, the smartphone ecosystem. Mm -hmm. That is, unless it's within, you said no crime can be committed uh, outside of the smartphone system, ecosystem. No. Is that not what you said? No. I said there, it's not possible a crime can be planned without the use of a, it's possible, the but use it's of possible. a mobile it's possible. device. It's possible. No, without, let's without a mobile planned device. and executed. It's possible. You can plan on the table, but in the process of execution, you guys will have to communicate so you guys will meet at a place. That's possibly. an assumption. That's, if I have partners, if you really want assumption. to do the crime, Uncle. Okay. And I just think, and I want to steal the phone, Uncle. I don't want to steal the phone. I don't want to go kill somebody. They'll be in the same, the same location. Plan what they want to do. Disperse and execute. The but let's, let's, even, let's go to the substance. The Have you had a dry run of this particular software? Well, I did um, CEH. You, have you done a proof of concept? The only place it has entered the country is in Kogi State. It's still under installation by certified systems. That's the only... Uh, their, their company administration in Nigeria. He's doing a trial there. But okay. he's doing it for the law enforcement agency. But have you, have you done any? No, you know, not you at all. You know that softwares and apps like this, you must do a proof of concept, a POC. That is, you try it on an actual that proves that this is workable. It is workable. I have not gone into it, but I have seen where it is working. I've seen as evidence is presented in court outside Nigeria with this. So what does your business need? I need a partner. Good. It will, it, will take, it will take me above 10 million, certain. And the last time I talked, I said, I don't need the money. Just send me out. It's a two-day two day training. 
Send me out to do a two-day training. I'll come back, set up a lab, let me work. I just have passion to go into that. The reason, first reason why I did certified ethical hacking was to see how I can help remedy the problem of crime. And when I got there, I got to see that this is a far better option that we go closer to the people. Than the oxygen. Okay, but then I have one more a problem, which is privacy issues. Teenagers' idea and need is clearly defined. However, Don Jazzy has a concern that might be a huge challenge for this entrepreneur. Um, if a crime happens here now, you said we call you in 10 minutes, you can dig into everybody's, everybody's phones. Around the vicinity. Around the vicinity. Yes. So I didn't commit a crime, somebody has committed a crime and you will not be going through my messages. Yes. The, the, uh, I, I, I cannot, the law, I cannot push it out. I cannot push the informa <laughs> information out. It doesn't matter, but you saw it. Now. I say, unless the information is something pertaining to that crime, that is when I will say I have a case. But well, there's also know, the law, of, of, that, uh, is, lawful, that can be presented in, law, in the law, the law and evidence. lawful and unlawful intercept, which is domicile with the National Security Advice under the Cyber Security Act. Before. So even if you have something like this, the, you can't just do it. The, the license that you yeah. need for... You will be yes. given a license to operate. Yeah. You will be given a license to operate. Uh, I think I mean, I shall know that my privacy no is very important. Fortunately, and well, it this, still be um, unfortunately for the, you. This, the two days training, where is this? Yeah. Right now they are training. They have been moving from country to... The, they are in U.S. now. Okay. In U.S. now. So you just want to enter the U.S. for two days and bounce back? If, if it's possible to bring them down here, no, I all I care for is just the... Knowledge. The experience. And they don't do this training online or something? They don't have ah, online training? I don't because you have to touch the workshop. It, do, it doesn't really need only you plugging the brush. Sometimes you have to open the device and get to the right chip where that are recorded. What's the point of doing all, going through that effort and it's not going to be implemented? So that's why you, you, it's very important. The person sitting on my far left is like one of the most important person to you right now because okay. you can get to understand that is this even doable? And he has just identified and expressed two major concerns. Of course. Okay. Before you even waste your time to go and go on board 15, 16 hours flight. So that is you know, thing, so. you see, there must, be, there must be a trigger too sometimes. Okay. We'll have the oxygen. Is there a need or a demand for this new one? There is. A Can lot. you validate that? This is where... See, because if you make this available and the security agencies don't even buy into it. They will. The certified system I mentioned is domiciled at Abuja and they've been contracting him in lots of their work. What they, are those they, contracting they have, they have the oxygen installed in their office but the officers trained, they are not doing much. Number one, you will be limited by your boss is said... It, is it the police or what? The, they have it with the DSS right now. Okay. They, they are limited with, this is more important. This is a state case. Let's treat it first. And then the ordinary man in the street or the organization in the street, their case comes and it is not being looked into. Yes, so if you have a private see, forensic investigator... Well, you know, before you can even proceed, I talked about proof of concept. You also okay. need some, some kind of endorsement before you can even proceed with a, a product like this. That is maybe from the Office of National Security Advisor, the DSS, and you talk about NIDA, which is in control of any technology that comes into the country. So it's not, it won't be enough to just get on that plane, go for two days. And yeah. I, it's too simplistic. Well, two days training, yeah. you travel. So if, if, if I may, okay. so I, um, I can hear this is something that you're really, yeah, really interested yeah. in. And that's very good. A, and you want to change um, the country as far as crime is concerned. I, I get Crazy. all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? I really do. Some projects, some businesses, some industries, takes, it just takes more than passion because of what you're doing. You're going to connect into the security services of your country. You can't just connect. I think that's, that's, that's where a, you're going yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah. So, Paulinos, on that yeah. note, what you're doing is very good. Okay. The, what you want to do is also very good. Okay. And uh, what you're asking for in this field is very possible within the AYE. These are the things we're looking for. But let's do it properly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it properly. So you've, you've heard some names here, some organizations, some institutions. Go and do those inquiries. Go and do that. 
then we can start talking. Thank you so much. Just for a second, me. sir, please. Do you live in Lagos? I'm sorry about that. Yeah? Do you live in Lagos? I stay at Abuja. I, Abuja. Came, I came down from Abuja. I already made inquiries from certified system. As at yesterday, I talked to him. With who? With the MD, engineer of, Emmanuel Oche. Of where? Of certified system. No, the, you cannot do the systems. You have to go to the institutions itself. That is the institution in Nigeria. Is it the like person, the, the only person, the sole administrator of MSAB in Nigeria, the MD of the organization certified system is You mentioned the, the security Emmanuel agency Oche. now. What's that? Yeah, but what you're trying to do, you want to do, is it a commercial, whatever, or you want to do it for the security agencies? I want to ha just have a private investigative firm that will consult for organizations. But you know, there is more work agencies. to be done. Mm. And don't, don't, you still have a chain, a chain that is still connecting you to AYE to now. Heavy. Okay. To don't go and sure. break it anyhow. Or you want to break it now. No, no uh -huh. way. No so way. just, I said, let's do this properly. Okay. Yeah. We will, yes, communications will, has just started. Okay. We will take it from here. I but I, I know that you know what we are asking you to do. And I'm telling you, go and do those things. Let's take it from forward. Okay, thank you. Have sir. a nice day. It was awful. I met a very technical group. And I came prepared. I really presented what I think was right. With the interactions we had inside, there is a headway tomorrow. But once finished short, I know I'm in and I'm in. And there is no going back. I'm into bag making, both Ankara and leather, hats and fascinators, bridal hand fans, and beads. My name is Emegora Adana Teresa. I registered for in 2017, April. I went for my first screening at Asaba and I, I scared through. Then later I got email from Ayin inviting me to Lagos for another phase of screening, which I attended. And um, I was lucky enough, I, my name came out among the, those that would be supported. Then finally I was invited to Lagos for the award which we received from AIM. My business has been going well, although I still need money to do one or two things. I've been pushing it, it's not really been easy, you know, as a starter in the business world. It's not really been easy but I've been trying my best. I felt so happy because right now, as I'm telling you, I'm seriously looking for money and getting this money from my year to stabilize my business. They don't have to rush, they have to be patient because I was I was patient, I waited and waited and waited, I never gave up, I still believed that Ayin is going to help me. So many people said is that, that this uh, fraudulent act, that Ayin is not real, they are just showing up on TV and at the end they will not give anything. But still, I was still having hope that something will come out of it. And I'm so glad that today I'm a living testimony. I got the money I requested from Ayin. I pray God bless them, give them more. Whatever, wherever this is coming from, may it never lack. That I pray that God will give them the strength to carry on. I pray that no forces will come against it because this is Nigeria. So I just pray that God will give them the strength to carry on, to keep empowering youth, because this is what we need in Nigeria, youth empowerment, which Ayin is doing. I'm so grateful, and I pray that they continue. Ayin will never die.
It's that time of year where thousands of entrepreneurs gather for one single convention. Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Empowerment Nigeria Iron Annual Convention is here again. Keynote speakers include Patrick Malumba of Kenya, Billy Silakani of South Africa, and of course, Folungsho Alakicha of Nigeria. To register, visit www.ion.ng. Iron 2018 Convention, Entrepreneurial Influence in Economic Development. I can, I'm prepared, and I believe this is an opportunity I am not ready to let down. Ezra is a multimedia entrepreneur who believes in the future of online television viewership and seeks to launch an internet television channel with the support of AYE. My name is Ezra Ajiboye. Ezra Ajiboye. I'm okay. the CEO of Loud Silence Media and Entertainment Limited. Okay. Loud silence media. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like the nice. Loud silence. <laughs> we do everything multimedia. We do independent broadcasting, photo and video coverage, and a few other things that I entailed on that, listed on that multimedia. The global transition from TV to internet as the main entertainment medium has come a long way. Media analysts predict that in the near future, online viewers will outnumber TV viewership. Assessments suggest that the TV industry remains in fine health. This is based on the fact that the TV market remains bigger than that of the SVOD service. Secondly, TV still remains the home of premium sports, and long-form traditional TV content remains dominant in terms of viewing hours and advertising. How long have you been uh, operating as a business? Well, I've been in the business for over seven years, but as a registered organization, I've been running the business for five years. Five years? Five years. How's it going? We're making progress, and that's why we're looking to expand into online television. In terms of revenue, what has been your well, revenue? We've not had a, a better last year. It's been We've been going from strength to strength. Can you give a number in terms of the revenue? Okay. Last year, we were able to make up to between 600 and 700,000. That's gross? Gross, yes. What was your net profit? For between 450 and 500. So, so where are you, you based? You want to go into online TV? Sir? So? You want to go into online what? Online television. Okay, to for for which kind of which kind of content? Okay, at the moment we run an independent radio program called Moments with Ezra Ajiboye. Okay. Now, having engaged not just in the media circle now, I also had to work as a social worker. So I've seen certain needs. Expanding into the online television will help us serve not just for profit making now, also improving the society. I'll, if you allow me, I could go further a little. Yes, please. Okay. Now, I've had the opportunity to go through certain states to interact with different people. I've seen young people like me with different talents. And these people are just looking for the slightest opportunity to break through. I've uh, had some of them on my program, mm -hmm. on my independent program. Yeah. So, I've, I took time to do analysis and I felt if these people, if they could get visual, it increases their opportunity to, 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 to break through. I did some test runnings, tried some certain things out, and they actually showed prospects. It was a prospect. The online business is a prospect. So that's why I said, not just for profit making now. And let's even talk about the profit angle of things. I took out time to discuss with my clients, that's those that come for the program. Because how I run my radio program is, 
I get clients, whatever they pay, I pay for airtime, and the rest is mine. So I took time to take a survey, discuss with them how they would, if they would, to see if they could appreciate visual. And in fact, their response was positive. So adding these two factors together was what made me conclude uh, online television is the best way to go into business. Appreciation okay. is not profits, please. Yes. I mean, Where is the money going to come? Yeah. I, at the moment, I, I run an hour program weekly. And my, I pay for airtime. I pay around for 5,000 Naira weekly. That's, of course, when I have guests. And I collect the 100,000 Naira is for 30 minutes that I sell to clients. The remaining 30 minutes I used to discuss social issues, particularly about the youth, which cuts across politics, business, and. On this uh, online platform? No, no, no. On the radio, radio program radio at the program. moment. Okay. Where's so you want to migrate? Radio. I'm based migrate. in Abuja. And the, the radio program, the platform we use is Jordan 93.9 FM. Okay. Now, I, I discussed with them, and one of my points of discussion, the major line I use is, if we make a visual and decide to increase the cost, will you still come on the program? And then I gave them certain benefits of coming online or, or going visual. And they appreciated it. Most of them are ready to... Do you have an idea how many listeners you get in your radio show? Yes. It's a... Well, it's a highly... Um, technologically enhanced radio station. So there's a way they monitor those things. But the do you list, know how many? Yes. How many? But before I go, I tell you how many. I just want to tell you the reach of the radio station. Okay. At the moment, I think they are the radio station with the highest uh, coverage. They cover not just the FCT, but the surrounding uh, North Central states. So at the moment, they cover Abuja and six other states. The minimum I've gotten in my program is around 500,000 listeners. And at some point, I got up to one, over a million listeners for my idea, for, you know, for the program. And that's one of the things I used to. Is that the minimum is 500,000? Yes. I, got, I ensured I got um, documents for those things so I can use to sell the program. Of course, when I go around, those are the things I show my clients to convince them to come on the program. So you're looking at uh, migration. You want to migrate that program from radio to from radio to online TV, online, TV. online TV platform. Okay. Or is it is it that kind of radio visual? That one that they will just you just do a visual view in the studio? It's not that no, 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 no. Proper well, no, online. Wants to, wants to have and several. Online let me okay. You now don't have the, time for time. several others. Yeah. And several other programs. I, I spoke about enhancing and improving the lives of youth. I just want to give a little hint on that. Now. I've seen, I, I own a photo studio. So models come around to take shots. I interact with them. I see the things they do. I edit their work. So I said, I was discussing with some of them. I said, why don't we have a program that talks about models alone, just models, that focuses on models, their career, and how they can enhance, you know, move forward. People see them, watch them, and. How old, are, sorry, how old are you? I'm 23. I'll be 24. How much are you looking for? Of this month. How much are you looking for? Well, I, initially I said 1.5 million, but I'm increasing it to 4 million. The last increasing time... Increasing. increasing? Yes, sir. Naira or dollars? Sir? Naira or dollars? Naira, 4 million Naira. I, I, let me explain that. The last time I came, I said 1.5 In fact, I wrote 1.5 million. I have certain equipment. I have been able to, of course, get certain things for myself to study online television, just that my capacity is not enough. Then. I needed to, I, when I get the money, if I had gotten 1.5 million, the remaining gray areas would have been covered by partnership. Partnering with uh, a marketing consulting firm, partnering with a few other people to cover up other areas. But one of my closest allies pulled out it's because we were complaining of delays. So I want, I think 4 million will be enough for me to independently what start kind of, of this online is this? television. I'm looking for a grant, but I don't mind an investment because I'm very sure about this business. And what do you want to offer the investor? Of course, understated terms. Of course, I can meet. Uh, the, I can. The, of course, the return on investment and oh it will be God. fair to everyone. Go, go, go in there and go think about it. You have one minute and we'll come back. Ezra's idea seems to have caught the judge's interest. But for the judges to approve his request, he needs more than just an interesting idea. One of the most 
popular online content right now in the US is called do-it-yourself videos in which, and I've learned so much, they produce this three minute stuff, somebody shows you how to either knit a dress, yeah, yeah, yeah. fix a, and most times I want to do something, I want to paint, I want to, I would just go pick the video, watch it, and I'm doing it. No, he, my, he wants uh, to open an online TV platform. He has to pay for... So he just needs to buy equipment, lights, lights. camera. Let's, but let's it's viable. Bring, let's bring him out and let him break you down. See the, you see the world of but skirts that we get now. I, I want to know what equipment he needs. Because like you said with that uh, iPhone, yeah. the, the second largest kids channel on YouTube is filmed on a iPhone. On an iPhone. iPhone. The only bigger can, one is Disney. I can mention four guys. I know plenty. I don't just want to mention names. It's just so on the show and we, ha we haven't seen any out. content. Quarterly return on investment. Why yes. quarterly? Why quarterly? Well, the first three months enables me to balance the business before I can start pulling out any resources. I also want to request for just a minute to further give you details of the online television. It's not just a YouTube um, thing. Well, at the moment we're working on a website, a very large website. So, aside the coverage, aside the video content, there will be blog. There will be several other engagements going on in that thing. And to better sell this online television, I had the privilege of meeting a few social media influencers and spoke Forget with them. Forget about how you said it. Okay. You made your pitch. Like who? I, I spoke with him and he actually said I shouldn't mention his name. The, the social media investor said you should not mention his name. You mentioned his name? No, he didn't. He didn't mention it. And another thing is... Your partner is not proud of what you're about <laughs> to do and what you're about no, no, to become. No, no. That's one of the first things. If I see an so idea... So, the, 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 kind, of, the kind of online TV ahead. you want to create is like, which one? Name one in the world. It's a little of what Netflix, uh, Netflix does. German. As I said, I need a little time to explain in details. No, you have to be sure. They must, you must you the start from that. You started, <laughs> you took so many things. You see, I've always said, you know, okay. once you look, your figure is not that high though, but once your figure is an even million, people who can really invest million don't have so much time. You have to take it the much, you talk about your product first. What's going to catch our attention is always the first thing you must present. Not talk about all your radio and everything now, come back to the TV now, we cannot have time to discuss this TV. For now, you might have to work on content only, which you can use through your phone. Let me see your phone. What type of phone do you use? I use a Genie Mini 5X Pro. I use a Genie 5 M5 Mini. If you buy your latest iPhone that does great videos, what can you do personally with it yourself to improve your content? Of course. I could use it to enhance You're not going to use it. I reserve my no, iPhone. No, let me just ask you. The phone you need, is it for training? Is it for equipment? Specifically, that investment, what do you need it for? We have certain equipment, we need to enhance them. And there's a process where we give out what we have with some funds name, and name get the high tech. Which equipment are this? I have a Panasonic Z5 camera, but it's not good enough. We could use it, we could add some money to it and get a Sony camera that has a high quality, that is a high tech camera. For, for web TV, online TV, you know what? Mr. Reed, uh, you don't want to mention this guy. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a so category can see of people what people that are doing with online program. TV. It's about content. So, but if, before you even worry about the quality, you need to at least generate the content and then exactly. improve the quality. Thank you so that. much for you coming. So. You have enough time. An iPhone latest iPhone was placed before you. You are not ready to use it. I... Thank you so much for coming, and um, we wish you good luck. It looks like Ezra just lost an opportunity there and there is no way he's getting it back. Some of us have great ideas, and even if we're not able to, to in one blow, in one full, uh, this thing, put it out, we are still very much 
having hundred percent confidence in our ideas and one way or the other we believe to come to fruition. Meet Mathieu, an educationist who is passionate about teaching adults who do not have formal education. He runs a school that specializes in educating adults who seek to be educated. Our target, like I said, are adult learners, and they are of three categories. The first category are the people who are, they have exceeded primary and secondary school age, but they never had the opportunity of attaining any of this level. People call them illiterate. Those are our first. That's the first category of adult learners that we are dealing with. The second category are the people that they were opportune to enroll into either primary or secondary, but unfortunately they couldn't finish. So they are also part of our target. And the last category are people that they passed through primary, they passed through secondary. They finished actually, they were able to complete it, but unfortunately they have one or two subjects that could not make them to proceed for further studies. So this is the thing, uh, our initiative. So what do you, what do you need? Yes, I need funding to do get what? instructional materials. We instructional need mat instructional yeah. materials. We need to get more instructional materials. In some materials, some of them are printed, some of them are audiovisuals. Mm. Those of them are audiovisuals are our major ones. That's where we are majorly incapacitated. Mathieu needs a business grant of 600,000 Naira to acquire teaching aids for his school in the northern region of Nigeria. I applied for six, uh, I applied for 500. Well, uh, the last time I came, I look at what we could, uh, I thought 600 would be okay for me. After deliberations, the judges concluded that his grant will be approved if his school is verified by the AYE research team. Next on Africa's Young Entrepreneurs. We collect waste plastic together, we crush them, and by ourselves we were able to make our own pyrolysis machine by ourselves with materials we got locally. Including in this series and the series before, we have people coming in and saying we want to convert plastics to diesels, etc. That machine they all want to import. He's already made one. His machine is what every other person has been asking to buy, including the guys for 3.2 billion. 